In my last video, I demonstrated how to create animations with Biped and export them to Unreal Engine in a way that didn't require retargeting. But, what if you need to do the exact opposite of that? What if you need to take an animation from Unreal and bring it back into 3ds Max and transfer it to a Biped? Maybe it's an animation that you purchased on the Unreal Marketplace, or maybe it was an animation that was created by another 3D artist that you have to make some edits to. Well, I'm going to show you how to do just that using my new tool for 3ds Max called Unreal to Biped. And yes, I promise you, the title of this video is not a lie. This tool will transfer an Unreal 4 or 5 based animation to Biped in just two clicks. I will have links where you can obtain the tool in the video description. Let me first show a quick example of just how dead simple this tool is. Over in Unreal, here is an animation I'm going to use for this example, this kind of punching animation. If I open it up, there it is. And what I'll need to do first is export this from Unreal by right clicking and going to Asset Actions, Export, and export this as an FBX file, okay? Back over in 3ds Max, I have an empty scene here and I've opened the Unreal to Biped tool. And you can do that by either going to your uh, scripting menu and choosing Run Script, or you can simply drag and drop the uh, tool directly into the viewport to run it. Now I'll import the animation from Unreal. So I'll go to Import, choose that animation. And just make sure the units are set to centimeters so that it comes in at the correct scale. All right, there's the animation. Next thing I need to do is create a biped. So with one click, I can create a UE4 biped. And then all I have to do now is simply click on Bake to Biped. And we are done. I can now delete the uh, Unreal animation because everything has now been transferred to the biped. And uh, folks, it does not get any easier than that. Uh, two clicks, one to create the biped and the second click to bake the biped. And that's all there is to it. Now the next logical step af after this is you'd probably want to uh, save this animation out to a bip file for later use but um yeah that's that's all there is to it okay so that was pretty awesome so let's try another one here so the first thing i want to do is clear out this scene and i can do that with this reset button here that will clear out the scene and do some garbage collection so that the tool is ready for another baking operation so uh let me go over to unreal here Okay, so this time let's do an Unreal 5 skeleton animation. Here is the Unreal 5 mannequin and his default walking animation. And like before, I'll just right click it, go to Asset Actions and Export an FBX file. Okay, back in Max, I'm going to import that animation. Same as before. There we go. And since this used the Unreal 5 mannequin, I need to create a UE5 biped. And I can do that with one click here. And just make sure the animation source is also set to the UE5 skeleton. And then click on Bake to Biped. And it's going to zip through the timeline and return to frame zero. And we are done. I can delete the Unreal animation. And there we go. So cool. So hopefully you're seeing just how ridiculously easy and useful this tool can be. So let me do just one more example to show a more real world practical use for uh, people who are familiar with animating with biped. So once more, I'm gonna hit the reset button and just clear out my scene and head over to Unreal. Here is an animation of the uh, character holding a pistol and doing this crouch down walking animation. And once again, I'll right click, choose Asset Actions and Export. Back in Max, once again, I'll import the animation. Create a UE4 biped and then bake to biped. 
and done. Okay, so there's a couple issues with this animation I'm not uh, quite happy with. This was from the Unreal Marketplace, but um, let me use this as an example to show you, you know, the kind of stuff you can do. So I've got the animation transferred to the biped, and I don't like that he's squatting down too much. The legs look kind of unnatural, like he's doing a duck walk. So if you're familiar with biped, this is easy to fix. I can uh, turn on auto key, and I'm just going to create a new animation layer. And since I want the feet to stay fixed on the ground, I'm just going to click these two buttons to retarget the left and right leg. And now all I have to do on my new layer is just move the biped up a bit and then click update. And there, that looks a bit better to me. He's not quite as crouched over. That looks a lot more natural. So there's my edited one and there's the original. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. That's much better. And then another issue I see is that it looks like the character is looking down too much. He should be looking more straightforward. So on that same layer, all I have to do is just rotate the head up a bit. And there we go. That looks a lot better to me. So then I can uh, either collapse this layer down or I can just leave that layer intact. But in, in any case, I can then save this out as a bit file for uh, to apply to any other biped. So uh, hopefully you can see that's kind of a, a, a nice uh, reason to use this tool is that you can easily make animation uh, edits using all the biped tools you're already familiar with. And I'm sure this is obvious to many of you, but I'm going to point it out anyway, is that if you have my biped to Unreal templates from my last video, you can load in any animation that you've edited onto these templates. So in, I'm going to load in that edited crouching pistol animation onto that template. And then, of course, I can then export this back to Unreal. So um, between this tool and my templates, this gives you a complete round trip solution to go from biped to Unreal and back again. Uh, making any edits that you need to make along the way. So, very useful tool set if you animate with Biped and are creating games with Unreal Engine. And one more very useful thing I want to point out is that if you're familiar with Biped, you know that it's very flexible in that it will allow you to load animations onto just about any Biped, even if it has a different structure and proportion. So you can take advantage of this by using it to transfer animations that were made for the Unreal 4 skeleton onto the Unreal 5 skeleton, like shown here, and vice versa. So to demonstrate that, let me just load in that crouching pistol animation that we just did on that was made for the Unreal 4 skeleton, and I loaded it onto the Unreal 5 template. And you can see that we get almost perfect retargeting right out of the box using biped. I don't have to do much work here at all. In fact, it's pretty much perfect. So I know that Unreal An Engine has some tools to do retargeting between different skeletons, but in my experience, it's, it's a bit hit or miss. I think if you can use biped to do that, you can do that much quicker and with better results. Of course, you know, if you have this Unreal to biped tool that allows you to bring those animations back into 3ds max so that just about wraps up this video um, hopefully you can see the usefulness of this tool um, i spent a lot of time on this there's a lot going on under the hood but i've pretty much distilled the whole thing down to two buttons one to create a biped and a second button to bake the biped and that's it um, and of course if you have my biped to unreal templates and this tool you pretty much have a complete tool set from going to and from Unreal Engine using Biped. So I hope you enjoy this tool. I hope you find it useful and have fun animating. Bye-bye. <laughs>